Bienvenidos and welcome friends, my name is Crossbite and today we're going to look at how to stop bots from invading your Twitch channel. This is going to include things like hate raids, spam messages, and any other kind of bad bots that you don't want hanging around on your Twitch channel. We're going to start by going to twitch-tools.rootonline.de. These are Twitch tools by Commander Root, a good bot that you may have seen somewhere around the internet, and we're going to focus on the block list manager function. Go ahead and click on that and then log in via Twitch. If you have not logged in via Twitch before, you will get prompted to allow the permissions for Commander Root to access your channel. Once you get in there, you're going to get this nice little message that says loading blocks. And it's going to be jumping up in increments of 100. If you've never used blocks before, you may not get this. But the more blocks that you have, the longer this will take to load. So once you've been using it for a while, you're going to get up into the hundreds of thousands, if not the millions of blocks, because there's a lot of bad stuff out there. Once this is all done loading, we're going to go ahead and look at this filter results section. Under here, there's quite a few options. You can add new blocks, you can remove blocks. There's a lot of functionality here, but what we're going to focus on today is just adding new blocks. So when you click on add new blocks, you get this list section you can use if you have users that you want to block. but if we don't have any, we can click on Block Known Bot Accounts, and that's what we want to focus on today. So once you click on Block Known Bot Accounts, you're going to get a new little blue bar here loading, and it's going to be searching for any new bots that have been detected since the last time you ran this. Again, if you have never run this before, you're probably going to be waiting a while. And even if you've been using this, you're probably going to be waiting for a while, because there has been a large increase in the number of bots that have been out there. So. Go get yourself a cup of coffee, maybe hit that like and subscribe button while you're hanging around. And then uh, once it's done, you'll get this fun little message here letting you know that it's done, that the new blocks are added. And if you're familiar with the bot, you can type it in. For example, Haas was a very, very notorious bot for a while. So I'm going to type in Haas, I'm going to apply filter, and there is every bot that was blocked with the username Haas in it, which is quite a few. Again, if there's another bot out there that is notorious that you're familiar with, you can just type it in, make sure that the block is in there, and if it's not, you can manually add it. Uh, you could also use things like CSV files to import and get a list of bots, but this is truly going to be the quickest and easiest way to just continuously block all known bots. I recommend running this at least once a week if you can, depending on how often you stream. I only stream a couple times a week, so once a week is about enough for me. The other thing that we're going to be looking at today is just the integrated Twitch tools. Twitch has its own set of tools to help moderate things. You can get there a couple ways. If you're watching something on Twitch, you can click on your little icon and go to the creator dashboard from there. Or if you're not already on Twitch and it's easier for you, you can just go ahead and type in your web browser dashboard.twitch.tv and it'll take you to the same place. Whatever works for you, however you want to get there, as long as you get there. Once it's loaded up on the left side, you're going to see a button for settings. Once you click on settings, there's going to be a little subcategory in there for moderation. And once you're in there, that's where all of your moderator tools are going to come into play. I do recommend you go through all of these. There are a lot of things. We're going to hit all the key items today, but feel free to dive in further than I discuss here. Starting with auto mod, it's going to automatically limit or filter words based on aggression, bullying, disability, security, misogyny, race, ethnicity. Uh, adult terms, things like that. You can take a look at mine if you want to do something similar. I have a little bit of filtering on pretty much everything. Uh, less on the bullying and aggression because my chat gets a little rowdy, but more so on things like misogyny, race, and things like that. The next most important thing is going to be block terms and phrases. Just at a glance you can see I have by followers and big follows blocked because those are terms that are often used by bots for spam purposes. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a new one in here, by viewers. If you already have it in there, it'll show you. If not, you can just click add, and once you do that, it's now added to your list of terms. So anything that you've seen from bots that you want to block, just type it in there, add it as a new block. You can edit existing ones or even delete some if you need to. But this is going to be a great way to stop just those spam messages from coming in, whether they're from bots or from actual people. Additionally, you could do permitted terms and phrases. That's going to be phrases that you always allow. I haven't found a good purpose for this, but maybe you will. There's also ban evasion detection, as well as your ban chatters. So that's for people who have been banned and are trying to get reinstated. 
I do recommend blocking hyperlinks. Not everyone likes to do this, but that is a great way for bots to try and infiltrate and do some nefarious things. So I recommend that. That's up to you if you want to integrate that. I personally like to have email verification on for all chatters. I feel like at this point, if you're on Twitch, you definitely have an email address. You can limit that to some chatters, you know, and filter that down by first time chatters or chatters without a verified email are required to have accounts for so long, things like that. Or you can just turn email and verification off, which I don't recommend. The other option here is phone verification. I have phone verification turned off because I have people who go in my chat who do not have a phone or they don't want to link their phone with Twitch, which I think is totally fair and simple enough. If you're really concerned about it, you can turn that on, but I think it's going to limit your overall viewers in the end. You can also click this little button at the bottom that says set all to Twitch minimum rec recommendations if that's just easier for you and you don't want to mess with all these settings. Make sure you have chat rules. That is important when you want to enforce things. You can also have unban requests on or off. I have some mods who get a little wild and accidentally ban people, so I do have that turned on so that users can request uh, access again. Followers only mode, I would never recommend. Bots can still follow you. That doesn't really help anything. Uh, subscriber only chat really only hinders you because if people want to discover things about you, they're new to the channel, you, uh, you can't engage with those people. So definitely, it's my recommendation, don't turn on followers only mode. Don't turn on subscriber only mode, please. You're really going to limit yourself using those. It's not going to be great for helping with bots compared to how many viewers and followers you're going to potentially lose with that. I do hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If it was not, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya!